T'étais où là T'as foutu quoi J'étais en retard. En retard Je suis désolée, je suis désolée. Mais dis pas. Non, tu l'as volé Oh la dingue là, j'y crois pas À quoi tu joues là, Ami Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on when you're tuning in. My name is Jonathan Torres Herrera, and you are watching or listening to the JTH Show. Today, uh, we're going to talk about a, uh, a movie called Cuties. But first, roll that intro. All right. As always, uh, you guys remember, you can listen to the entire show on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or Radio Public. All right. So today's show um, is going to be actually, uh, man, uh, 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 in a string of shows that I've actually uh, I've actually already filmed, um, but I haven't shown you guys. They will be coming out. And it's around the whole um, big, you know, hashtag regarding, you know, save the children. You know, I, I did a video previously, which I'm, I'm working on releasing. Um, but, you know, this whole controversy around a movie that's going to be aired on or showed on rather on Netflix in uh, December, sometime in December um, or um, September? September. I'm sorry, September. Excuse me. Thank you. In September around uh, a movie called Cuties. Now, if you, you haven't heard about this, we haven't if you know, have no idea what I'm talking about. It's it's the controversy came out, not necessarily because of the contents of the movie. I mean, in and of itself, I recommend you go see the trailer. Uh, it, it is subtitled because the movie is, is in French. But, you know, it's not actually uh, that in, in and of itself that is controversial. It's actually regarding the movie posters, which then, you know, led a lot of attention to seeing, wait, what is the movie really about? Which we're going to get into. Okay. So first, uh, let me put the movie posters right up here for you now. Okay. So, all right. So these are the movie posters, um, you know, that I'm going to explain why, if not, you're already seeing why they're controversial. Okay. So let's start first with the, with the idea, the story plot of the movie. And that is, that is about an 11 year old uh, Muslim uh, little girl who finds a lot of, of interest in um, twerking, okay? Now, she, you know, nobody has seen the movie because it hasn't it hasn't shown, at least not that I know of yet. But, you know, you get it in the trailer, you see it, that the little girl comes from a more, you know, um, a more, more religious, more conservative family. And, you know, she is, again, interested in other little girls that she sees dancing, in this case, they're twerking. And, you know, it's supposed to be a movie in a way they kind of put it like of discovery, you know, so self-discovery for at least a little 11 year old. And she's finding it through through dance. OK. All right. Many, many other movies have kind of touched on that um, idea that, you know, people, you know, Honey was one of them back in, whoo, you know, like the early 2000s, that movie with uh, Jessica Alba. There's been tons of, of, of dance movies, right? I mean, everybody remembers no, nobody puts baby in the corner kind of thing. You know, <laughs> many movies, right? About, again, a, a person, a young individual finding, you know, self-discovery of some sort through dancing. Hey, not a problem. All right. Um, however, he, here's a problem. You saw the posters, right? Um, people kind of start losing their, their, you know, their heads over this because in the French poster, you do see the little girls running. And they're wearing like, you know, their their underwear over their clothes. And it's like, okay, I mean, they're being, you know, rebellious. Nothing that I guess surprises people in some fashion. However, in the American poster, on the other hand, you see them posing, right? Now, I want you guys, some of you guys may disagree and be like, oh, whatever, JT, come on, man. This day and age, should it surprise you? And I will tell you, yes, yes, it should surprise you. Now, does it surprise you? I guess it is an entirely different conversation. It should surprise you because while you might mark me as a conservative, I will tell you that, and it, it, there, it may also be because I'm, I'm a father of, of little girls, that I think to myself, you know, who exactly will be watching these movies? Now, there's been a lot of YouTubers, and I've seen some of their videos as well that, with points that I definitely agree with, which is not only who's watching these movies, Right. Or this movie in particular. But who came up with like the movie poster? 
you got, you know, I, 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 I harped on this so much in other videos and even in the one that I'm about to release to you guys as well around the same concept of these, you know, board meetings that, are, that should be happening, right? You would think at least are happening in these big companies. No one is sitting there thinking like on these ideas that anybody can have, even if, you know, Geppetto Petto over there, you know, is kind of like in the closet and it's like, oh, you know, like, I think the little girl should be twerking more. Nobody else is like, hey, uh, hey, Bob, we got to have an HR meeting with you after this because uh, what well, you just suggested, not OK. Like, Describe twerking, by the way. Well, you know, the movie's about that. OK, keep going. What's wrong with the French poster? Um, I mean, I- I'm just saying, OK, executive number two, what if guys just listen to me? All right. What if we had. One of the little girls kind of like bend over on the floor. That should be like, okay, no, you're, you're gone. You're gone. And we might call the cops on you after this because we're not talking about 20, 30 year olds. I mean, I understand that there's music. I mean, there, everybody's been talking about the whole WAP controversy, right? Music, but those are two grown women. While the music is vulgar in itself, I'm not surprised there are two grown women talking about it and hopefully are grown individuals that are choosing to willingly, you know, listen to that. Yes, it can leak into children. Another conversation for another day. But again, the creators, the writers of the lyrics and all that were, you know, adults. In this particular case, it's like, hey, we're working with children. And, uh, well, you know, let's see how we can make them look like they're not children. Right? Because under the whole idea that, well, you know, it's the age of discovery for them. We're not talking about 14-year-olds, 15-year-olds. You know, young, older teenagers that are, you know, maybe going into high school, maybe get out of high, getting out of high school, kind of like the movie Kids from the 90s that some of you guys have seen. Or maybe if you haven't, don't. Uh, but, you know, if you know, if you've seen it, you know what I mean. Much older kids, right, dealing with topics around, you know, drug abuse and also, you know, sexual and stuff like that um, topics. But these are 11 year olds like the, 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 the bar now has been has been set so low that these executives are just approving you know this kind of crap left and right and what I, honestly what pisses me off the most is the over i guess um i don't know the proper term is simplification of just like yeah well you know it's kind of what's happening you know <laughs> which reminds me i don't mean to bring it up i'd even ask my wife for permission to do this but i'm gonna say it there is somebody, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it as vague as I can so I don't get in trouble after this video. But there is somebody that had an interaction with my wife about uh, something that they shouldn't have done on the internet. And it was on something that was very explicit. And I mean, think about whatever explicit you can think of. That's what that person did on the internet. And, you know, it wasn't appropriate because of the environment that that person did that in. And it was on a social media app. Put it like that. The response, basically, from this individual was like, you shouldn't freak out about it. You shouldn't freak out about me waving my toy, if you know what I mean. It's normal. It it enraged me just as much as it enraged her. And here's why. No, we're not. We're not a bunch of prudes. It's like, wow, you don't even want to touch on the topic. I'm all for touching on that topic. Under the correct environment, circumstances. I played an example, Cards Against Humanity, which if you've ever, anybody ever played that game, it touches on those topics a lot. I can have jokes and I can laugh of jokes, you know, regarding those topics. But when you're now saying like, you know, what's really funny. What if we have a little girl bear with me here? Okay. Put as little close as you can on them and then have them do any of like 90s Madonna poses you can think of. You know, when she was like touching this and touching that. And it's like, you want an 11 year old to do what again? The director is a woman and you can say, JT, (laughs) it's pure hearted. It's a girl. Wrong. I know that when you maybe think or have heard pedophilia, you're like men, Jeffrey Epstein, da, 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 da. Wrong. Women can also be pedophiles. I don't know this director. I don't care that she won an award on the Sundance. I don't care. If you're an individual and allegedly the director got inspired because she went to go see some, some, I guess, amateur uh, competition and she saw these little girls 
um, that were doing kind of similar, you know, in real life, dancing very, you know, in a very sexualized nature or or sexual or sexual nature, excuse me. And she was, you know, she was like, interesting. I find this very interesting. And she interviewed for a year. Um, and then she's like, I need to make a movie about this. Not in a documentary style, by the way. You might be thinking like, JT, this is a documentary. Like, why are you so pissed off about? No, this is a movie. This is a movie where they, you know, where they scouted actresses, little actresses. And they're like, you know, even if you tell me like the little girl's like 14, 15, I don't know how old the actors are. To me, it's irrelevant. Because you got to understand, I've been telling you guys this, right? A lot of the time, a lot of you viewers, and I know that, by the way, I'm getting a lot of more interaction with you guys in comments, so I appreciate it, by the way. <laughs> Always drop a comment. But you have to get in the mind of these creators, whether it be cartoons, whether it be movies, that they have to have these conversations among themselves. And they're like, let's make a movie about this. Like, okay, great. I mean, let's bring some light to this. Like in a good way, right? Like we're going to like expose this. Like this shouldn't be happening. No, 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 no. I mean, yes, but no. Um, let's find little 11 year olds. Like that's, I don't, that you shouldn't say that out loud. Like, you know, it's not normal for you to say that out loud. No, let's, shut up. It's just finding 11 year olds that want to twerk and, you know, wear little clothes. And their parents have to be okay with it. Eh? Eh? Chick ching. Chick ching. That's what's happening. I'm sorry. Mask it however you want to mask it. Like the conversations were very intelligent. They're, you know, a bunch of intellects. I don't give a shit how you mask it. That's the fact. Is that some people out there decided, oh, it's okay to go and grab little children Tell them they're going to dance like this and they're going to do this and you're going to be famous. Because here's another thing that's funny. Imagine those little girls, those actresses. Oh, you know what I haven't mentioned? Is that the movie is NC-17. Allegedly. Now, will Netflix move the rating to an R or to a PG-13? Like, what is going to be in this movie that is NC-17? And if you don't know what that is, go Google it. For the little girls to be like, oh my God, I'm going to be famous. And that's going to be awesome. This is my first movie. And my little friends are going to see it. And they're like, no, 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 no. Mary, Mary, do, 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 do. your friends can't see it. And it's like, well, well why not? <clears throat> well, it's uh, sorry the way the story is going to be. You just can't go see it, okay? Just be quiet and go over there and twerk. Do you see where I'm going with this? You see why I'm like all worked up about it? Let alone the movie posters that someone had to create the concept. Someone had to go take the photographs. Someone had to go sit there literally in the computer, like my setup that I have here, open Photoshop, grab the little girls, kind of like, no, she's not twerking enough. Let's modify her ass a little bit more. How disgusting do you have to be and be like, got him. Yeah, we're going to release this photo. Yeah. And you know what the movie name is going to be? Cuties. You know, just... You know, come on. Come on. Isn't that the epitome of what people are talking about all the time? About pedophiles this and pedophiles that? Like Disney put something that, you know, and I don't want to spoil it for you guys in the video that's coming, but, you know, accidents in movies, jokes, you'll get it when I release the video. And people are like, cancel Disney. Bah. Someone literally made a movie with little girls and called it cuties. I mean, is there a bigger... A call for for you know disturb individuals out there to be like thank you i don't no longer have to go on the dark web and look for shit like this thank you for making me a movie and you made it nc-17 oh my god i'm ready for this movie i mean just think about it for a second what if tomorrow i reach out to you and i'm like hey real quick i uh, want to come over real quick and watch a movie with me and it's called cues of all little girls and what we did you discover that i made this call with like another guy friend what would you say don't come at me with all your, uh, hopefully none of you are coming at me with like, dude, you're sexualizing, you're this, exploration. Again, I'm all for that. How old are you watching this video right now? Hope you're not fucking 11. What, 20? 30? Whatever, man. Whatever you're into, hey, you only know that if, you, if you're going to get the FBI on door one day or not. Only you know that shit, right? So I want you to really consider what you're considering normal. And not use the crutch of like, well, that's society, that's not me. Society can be a PS, POS. It is up to you if you decide to go along with that. And for you to accept and say, no, this is normal. Or be like, no, this is actually BS. Uh, I don't care if high executives with power and money at Netflix, at Warner Brothers, at wherever. Sony, Fox, this is crap. 
right? Because this is not some adults that probably have full senses of like, you want me to go out there and do what again? You know, it's just, these are little kids probably driven with the idea that they're going to be famous and they're doing art. Isn't that what Jeffrey did all the time? Right? Everybody went after Jeffrey because he had his island and he had art all over his house. Let's not forget about history and what it has taught us about these individuals. And there in itself, that's a guy with a lot of money and power who drove children in under the you know false pretense that I'm going to make you famous. I'm going to take care of you. How do you think they're driving these little girls in? You really think they're putting famous actresses, little kids and actors, little kids on these movies? You ever think about that? You ever think that, you know, I mean, have you seen any of the Jackson kids on these movies? Huh? How about Tom Cruise's daughter? Hmm? You tell me. Who do you commonly see on these movies being sexualized in this way? Who do you think they are? Where do you think they come from? What do you think they are being promised? Oh, but it, this is art. Of course, the little girls probably want to be famous. Of course, they probably want to. Maybe they truly want to dance. But it is something very different from maybe dancing, whether it be ballet or, or something around those lines, to twerking. I don't, say what you want to say. I grew up in the 90s where they called it grinding, and now they just call it twerking. Somebody, you know, then, oh, grinding. <laughs> yeah, you remember that shit? You remember that? You remember it, right? And I don't want, I mean, I'm not going to tell you I didn't do it. And I don't, I'm not going to tell you that I feel now like, you know what? That's, ex- you know, you remember that, that movie bus? Yeah. With the, people were like, people were like, don't do that. I'm sorry. People were like, oh, how can everyone see that? Right. JT grinding. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, and you're like, call my daughter, call, call her real quick. I'm going to, I'm going to teach him how to grind right now. What would you say? You probably call the freaking cops on me faster than my wife would. If you somehow had there was a leaked video out there of JT teaching his daughters how to how to grind. It's not twerking, it's grinding. It, call it what you want to call it. It is a dance, sure. I don't I'm not knocking on, on famous twerkers, because it is a thing, by the way. If you're an adult and that's what you're choosing to do, and you're making money out of it, hey, do you. Do you, bro? Do you, sister? Whatever. You're an adult. I don't, I don't honestly care too much for what adults choose to do. It is their, you know, I have my opinion, but whatever, right? You're not paying my bills. I'll have my opinion because I'm a human, just like you, but I'm, you're not paying my bills and I'm not paying yours, so whatever. But when you involve children, I have a big problem with that. And when you're trying to masquerade this as art, F you. No different than any other big pedophile out there, right? That has now been either convicted or maybe even lynched to death somewhere in, you know, in some other countries, whatever. No different. So what I'm saying to this, to conclude the video, is don't let these artists masquerade this. Because, no, it's not just that we're not letting little girls self-discover and flourish. I would say this about little boys. I would say the same thing if somehow this was a video about little boys doing the exact same posters you just saw on those, on those posters. Is it worse because it's girls? Um, Again, because I'm a dad, maybe I do take it more personal. But do I think it's okay? It's like, okay, fine, JT, we'll reshoot the whole movie with little boys. It's like, no, that's not, what are you doing? I wouldn't say like, okay, thank you. Woo, you got, awesome, thank you. No, it's still equally disgusting. So, you know, that's enough of the rant for today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm thank you for being here and hearing me out. You know, it really helps me. This is this is helping. This is this is helpful. You know, this is really good therapy for me for you to sit there and listen to me. Hopefully, you're liking. By the way, you know. And by the way, don't forget to ring that notification bell. It really, really helps. And all the likes I got on that one interview, pff, gracias. Really appreciate it. It really does help. Uh, but that is it for today, guys. Um, hope you're having you know a good day. I hope this didn't feel like a crappy damn. I'm, I'm sorry if it like. Just damped your your mood. Maybe you were all happy. And you're like, dude, thanks a lot. I'm sorry, but this is where you you come here for. We talk about things, right? You hear things from my perspective, and that's what uh what I hope you find value in. You know. But anyways, all right, guys, that's it for today. Um, take care of yourself. See ya. <laughs>